Welcome back. We're currently in the post game of Mega Dimension Neptunia V2R, and Nepgear is going to be taking a bath with Uni. So let's go. Phew, a nice warm bath. It's really relaxing. Hey, Nepgear. That's a sauna over there, right? It's good for your skin. Want to try it? Sure. I've always loved saunas. We should have a contest of who can stay in the longest. Whoever loses has to buy a drink for the other. Alright, you're on, Uni. Alright, my wallet's empty from paying for the bath. But with this, I can drink some refreshing juice after getting out. I ran out of change and gave up on the idea of a snack, but now I might be able to at least drink some tasty coffee milk. Ugh. After getting out. Yeah, they're screwed. A few hours later... Why don't you just give up already? You first, Uni. It's dangerous past here. I love that they use like this danger music. I'm not even at my limit. It's more dangerous for you. I'm fine. I'm used to soreness. I already have other. I have a reason. I can't lose. I have a question. I can't lose. Either. Stubborn as usual, I see. You too, Uni. I want to give up, but I can't bring myself to say that I have no money. I'm such an idiot. Why did I bring up this contest? I can't give up now. Oh, shoot. I just want some water. Water, someone. Give me water. I can't distract myself. I'll steal myself to endure this through sheer obstinacy. But, I'm at my limit. Flop! There's Neptune. Sauna! Sauna! Oh, wait! Neptune and Uni? Are you alright? Hey! Hey! Dead. That's very bad, you two. You shouldn't push yourself so hard over a silly contest. To top it off, the reason you were both holding on was because you didn't want to admit the other to the other that you were both broke. I'm sorry. Me too. I hope you two will reflect on this and learn, okay? Okay. Good. Okay, I'm heading into the sauna. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry too, Uni. I know. If we combine our change together, maybe we can manage to buy a drink to share. All I have is 50 credits. You too? I only have 50 credits too. Let's go get a drink together, Uni. Oh, this came out lovely in the end. Right, so let's head off to the station. I choose you! Do you? Alright. I'm tired. I know how you feel. Let's have a look here then. Oh. Alright, I expect more than that. Lady Uni is so cute! Lately, Lady Uni comes to us to learn curry making. If she likes curry so much, she should join our navy. In the Navy, you can learn many things. Oh, could it possibly be she has a boyfriend? If she has, then I'll have to congratulate her with the according to the firepower of our land, air, and sea. <laughs> I'll show you some dirty fireworks. What the hell does that mean? Anyway, uh, I wonder if there's a way to gather shares quickly. Uh, our shares aren't really going up. We'll just have to deal with it. There's not much we can do about it right now. But, 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 if we don't have any shares, I won't have enough strength and it makes my tummy rumble. You're just hungry, Neptune. Eat some pudding or something. Yay, now that I, now that I can do. This guy thought was going to be over something like this, you don't have to tell me twice or something like that. Ah, seriously. Isn't there a quick and easy way we can boost our shares? I may have a suggestion for you. Oh no, we know what's coming, don't we? I have a bad feeling about this, but... Tell me first, I could use a laugh. Game Industry's number one online game, Four Goddesses Online 2, is having a very large festival soon. The centerpiece of the whole festival is its cosplay competition. It's... streamed online. And gathers the whole world's... gathers? Yep, gathers the whole world's attention, you know? And you want us to enter that? You're freaking ridiculous! It's actually not a bad idea. What? 
It may not help people's lives directly, but I believe those who lead nations should have a certain amount of idol-like charm. If there's any way we can gather some more passionate fans that will defend us, it'll be hard for rumours and lies to spread. Yeah, that's unbelievable. I do want to enter the competition, but I was a little worried that they'd figure me out. If we do this together, it'll be like we're on official CPU business, so I can enjoy cosplay to my heart's content. Seems Noir is in favour. What about you, Neptune? Well, hey, if I can earn some shares and have fun at the same time, you know I'm in. We now have three favourable responses. What will you do, Blan? If this does not interest you, just the three of us will enter. Oh, beggars can't be choosers. Fine, I'll enter as well. It's settled. Now for our costumes. Could you leave that to me? I know someone who's really good at making clothes. Let Noir handle the costumes then. Now, let's go ahead and decide who we would all like to cosplay as. The day of the competition. Uh, th these aren't I, 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 at all what they look like in Four Goddesses Online, but alright. Now, you three, the day has arrived. Let us enjoy our cosplaying to the fullest. I really love this atmosphere. Yeah, it's always the best. Always? Oh, uh, for some reason... Oh, no, sorry. Oh, for some reason, this costume feels super drafty around my chest. My costume is of the samurai class that was newly added in episode 2. I just picked it because it looked cool. But wearing a kimono can be pretty nice. Sushi and, and other... Banzai! Why the awkward words that I can't say? Hey, so what are you wearing, blonde? I'm a sage. It's a top-tier class only people who've mastered night magicians or sunny magicians can achieve. Isn't it perfect for an intellectual type like me? Blonde. An intellectual type? Yeah, stop joking around, Blonde. You're just gonna smack people around with that heavy book, right? We get it. Quit it, assholes. What are you wearing, Vert? My dress is that of a sniping ranger. It's a top tier class for both rangers and snipers. Looks like weight and easy to move in. Quite so. It is a speed class that utilizes kicking and archery skills. However, in a live combat situation, my chest is too large, much too large, for this outfit. I doubt I could move very quickly in it. And what about you, Noir? Your get up looks pretty clever. I'm a jewel knight. A jewel-wielding knight that uses both flame and ice swords. Also, that design isn't from standard avatars. Is that a special outfit from an important NPC? NPC? Yep. NPC added in episode 3. I'll build Noir. It's throwing me off completely now. It's just coincidence. The friend I asked to make the costumes just went ahead and made it this way. As expected of Noir. How cunning. Seems everyone's eyes are glued to me right now. That's included. It was so worth one week of all-nighters to pull this off. I'm really proud of how it turned out. So it should be okay if I showed this off to the photograph photographers just a little bit. It's just starting. Let's enjoy ourselves out there, everyone. We'll try. Phew, that was quite a satisfying experience. Well, duh, we won, too. Of course, any outfit on the pro tag would have won. It all looks good on me. What are you saying? I was obviously the one with the most attention. Now that you mentioned Noir, I was the only one who seemed to have the gentleman's attention. And here I tried my hardest with a bold outfit. This season, it's cuteness over sexiness. I got a bunch of pictures taken, so I'm sure I'm being talked about all over the forums. You wish. You're popular for a different reason than cuteness, Noir. Check out this thread I just stumbled upon. Let's see, the black-haired girl's skirt was caught in her underwear. You could see it from behind. Her outfit is so... lewd. Goodness. What? No way! Was I like that all day? Looks like it. In all the pictures uploaded, your skirt is folded slightly upwards. But I work so hard on this cosplay. There's no way all the pictures of me could be so disgraceful and indecent. I'm sure there are adorable pictures of me taken somewhere, right? Blonde? Sorry, they're all disgraceful and indecent. We, on the other hand, are getting praise for our cuteness. Oh, someone even proposed to me. No, why only me? Dear, oh dear. Neptune, Vert, and Blonde felt their shares had increased. And Noir had a different kind of share go up. 
if you know what I mean. Anyway, let's go off to... Louis. Uh, can't we just hang out here? Go on then. Phew! I'm tired. I know. <laughs> munch, munch, fishy, 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 fishy. Where, oh where did that fishy go? A fish, a fish, a fishy. Oh, munch, munch. Fish is yummy, munch, munch. The little girls are cute, oh, and the fish is delicious. Skimmy Distri is a really good place. I'll have fun drawing, staying in the corners of this game industry. Uh huh. Yay. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Currently drawing. Uh huh. Now, today is back to business as usual. Now then, I will have those who violate my country and the people's rights to face suitable punishment. Don't worry. If left to me, I can win any trial. Okay. Hey! You there. Come on, come on, come all to my village. Let's all have fun together. Don't trust him. It's best when kids are energetic. Ram, Ram, I'm here. Pisha, did you bring your robot? Can we get on it again? Um, if you get noisy inside and start flying around on a robot, Lady Blonde will... Varoom! You're already riding it? Yay! Yay! Oh goodness! I said it's dangerous. Don't fly around inside the house. Woo! Who? Hey, you idiots! Pipe the hell down! Oh dear, it's the usual pattern. See, Lady Blonde is super angry. The three of you, stop! Please stop! Nancy, hey, you too. You're quite noisy yourself, Lady Blonde. That's the wrong thing to say. These guys are always full of energy, aren't they? They're not unlike yourself, Uzume. Hmm. Still, it seems Blan and Venancie are in a spot of trouble. Perhaps I should lend a hand. Do you have hands? Everyone! That's up. Do you want to get on the robot too, Umiya? Let's put the robot away for now and play quietly for Blan's sake. Here, I'll read you a picture book. Which is your favourite? You'll read it for us? This is good. This Hyper Robot Battle picture book. What? I wanted pocketed monstrosities. Mononoke. <laughs> you needn't quarrel, so I will read all of them. One at a time, one at a time. Uh oh. Everyone's actually listening to him? What is this? Hmm, all the dots. It's kind of pretty quiet. Do they get tired and decide to take a nap? Hmm. I hear a handsome, sophisticated, nemesis type voice. Why have you, the knight said. Judge me so, you are a devastatingly arrogant man. I missed an A in there, but you know. The president's so cool. Zeds. Hey, don't we get to the robot pictures? <laughs> It'll show up on the next page. Spoilers. This is. Oh, Lady Blonde. Look, he's been a big help. Hello, Blonde. It seems your work is progressing. Yes, thanks to you. Yawn. Oh, I fell asleep. Oh, Blonde, did you finish your work? Miss May, I'd like to hire the fish as my babysitter. No way in hell. He's my emergency rations. What? Anyway, moving on. Just like how that Let's ends. Just like, boom. Like, oh, all right then. Goody Nothing goody. else there. Do some double Let's checks before we head off to the here. other dimensions. Pudding, pudding. Pudding, uh, pudding. Can we just hang out here? Pudding, pudding. You've said that quite a I bit. Let's go have a look and see what I we got. Choose you. Pudding, pudding. We know. The time has come. Whoops! Looks like my main bunny's going to close the Dark History Notebook soon. I haven't even defeated any bosses yet. I wonder when the next time I'll adventure in a different world will be. Probably sooner rather than later, I guess. Alright, let's go! Uh, can't we just hang the out heart. here? 
dimension. Alright, let's have a look. Alright, what we got? I know we got one with Big Nepsy somewhere. There she is. Neptune. Big. I'll show you the cherished contents recorded on the Nepnote's first page. Some time ago, in a different dimension, Splantune. Man, this dimension's all peaceful now, and it's really boring. <laughs> but if I were to mess it all up one more time, I'm sure things would get more exciting. Now then, I've come to collect more interesting things today. Although, I think I've gathered most of the bugs and flowers around here. Oh, I spy a huge fly. Tinya? Gotcha. Yeah. What is this? A bug net? Hey, what are you doing? Huh? This fly can talk? Oh, this is super rare. Hey, you. Don't crap me like that. Hmm? You? How did you know I was here? It's not the same Neptune Craw. Huh? What's it saying? Doesn't make sen any sense at all. That'll do. Maybe I can't converse with it. That's too bad. Oh well. I'll go show it off to everyone. And once that's over, I'll put it in my specimen book. S specimen book? You idiot, stop! Let me go! Let me go! And that's how it began. I'll show you the second page of my cherished nip note. Even though it's an amazingly rare bug, everyone's reaction was really lackluster. Here's the thing, that's the wrong planet tune in the background, isn't it? When you think about it, it, it should be Plutia's planet tune. Which has got a more um, angular central tower rather than this sleek one there. So it's like, yeah, they used the wrong background. All they really said to me was, Nippy, those clothes really fit you. Besides that, I thought this bug was super big when I caught it, but it... Isn't it kind of small now? Did it shrink? Hey, freaking let me go already! Let. Me. Go. <sighs> Damn it, nothing gets through to her. Hey! Can't you hear me? Jeez, it's so noisy. I should stick it in my nip note already. Now, where's my tape? Stick? Wait, what are you? And paste. Whoa! What the hell did you do? I mean, I can't move. One more to my collection. I'll show you the third page of my childish nip note. And then she started crying. It was a real riot. Roisty, you're really putting me off with this stuff. You've been quite the villain, haven't you? If you're so put off, then let me out already. I want to start more strange and interesting problems in another place already. Oh yeah, you did mention travel, but where's dimension? What region is that? What kind of monsters could I nap? Oh, it'd be nice if there was a beach or a hot spring. And surface is important after all. Huh? Dimension is... Oh, what a pain. Just let me be free already, damn it. When I'm sealed up in this thing, I can't even warp normally. Warp? Warping ability, huh? Maybe I'll be capable of doing that soon, too. This sort of encounter with a rare bug, or maybe a common fairy. It's a big key event. I'm sure I've learned how to warp by now. Huh? Wait, what are you... Alright, test it out. Let's warp to that supermarket. S stop, I've got a really bad feeling. Oh, my power's being used about me? Just why did she get this nep note, though? I'll show you the fourth page of my cherished nep note. Hmm, now that I notice it, haven't I grown up quite a bit? i explored lots of different worlds. There are some similar worlds, and some that have an idle boom going on. It's a completely different feel at each coordinate. Damn it, using other people's abilities as she pleases. I never thought I'd be held back for so many years. Also, that idle boom relates to Neptunia PP, which does say at the start of it that it isn't canon, which actually feeds into my theory that it's an entire multiverse, and it's it's because it says uh, the main canon in that, doesn't it? So there's a main canon, and all the other dimensions still exist within the canon, but not the main story. I still need to do my big picture of this whole thing. Anyway, um, yes, we've done that line. Ever since I've been in this book, I haven't been able to record dark history, much less meddle in it. No meddling. It's best to have fun, after all. Aren't you having fun traveling with me while talking together? Yep. That'll do. 
as a name. Our definitions of fun aren't in are the exact opposite. And you're the only one yammering away anyhow. We inadvertently saved a world before this too. I think we really enhance each other. We'll be BFFs forever, Christy. No, I am not being enhanced at all. In fact, because you keep sucking out my powers, I'm more and more dried up. You're such a party pooper. I decide I'm almost out of energy. Better land somewhere soon or we'll be stuck between dimensions. No, yeah, that's no good. Even if I'm exhausted from the long flight this time around. Hmm? So there's some really huge negative energy nearby. And all the dots. Hey. There's an interesting dimension over there. I've been here once. Place, you know? Hmm. Let's make an emergency landing. Looks like something crazy has been going on in this dimension since I last saw it. This might be the perfect chance for me to say goodbye to this messed up life. And so it began. Oh, he said and so. And so the two were drawn in by the mysterious swirl console. And the curtain would rise on this story. No one to talk to. It's like being noir. Right. Let's, let's go see if there's anything else here. going on anywhere else before we finish up. And then move back to you. SAO's DLC. Because that's the plan. SAO's DLC and then over to an atelier. I'm going to do the, um, uh, what's it called? Can't we just hang out here? I can't remember what it's called. It's, it's Trilogy, the one after the Arlen series. Uh, the one after that. That's, that's where we're going after that. Right, let's let's see going here. anything going on I at all. Anywhere in this game. I bet you are. Uh, can't we just hang out here? Pudding, pudding. Uh, any? There's no, there's no player. Let's go to the player room now. Go to the player room. That's where we started this place. Oh, we did get some new room objects. Let's have a look. Still gotta go through and try and find them. So, like, all right, fine. Where's the thing? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's the Nendoroid. I've got the Nendoroid. Is that finally got the Nendoroid? Is that it, though? Oh, there's a Ram and Ram plushie. Yeah, lovely. Not gonna use them, though. Uh, it's just gonna be the plushies. So wait, where's... Is this just because, like, Vert doesn't have... I was gonna say, like, like Vert doesn't have one at all, does she? It's just gonna be the plushies. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Poster, poster, poster. Okay. Don't know why we have a cardboard cut out of Nep Gear, but we do. Yay! We did it. Right. So, that's us done with Mega Dimension Neptunia V2R. So, the next Nep game that we should be doing is probably the um, side scrolly one. What's it called again? Like, I can't remember what it's called. The RPG one. It's got RPG in its title. Who knows what it's called? Because that, well, most of us do. I just forgot its name completely. It's it's based on the um, Mario game in terms of its name, the the RPG made by Square Enix. Yes, I, I know it's history. Just can't remember its name now for some reason. Super Nep RPG, something like that. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I, I, I honestly feel they not ruined Mega Dimensions. That that that'd be wrong. They've sort of what's the best way of putting it? It's like diminished. Mega Dimension, the main, the main bulk of the game, the Mega Dimension part, they've diminished it somehow. Gameplay was a bit better. Not great, but a bit better. Its VR events were good, like, like, Blan. Blan is, is a great character now, I absolutely love her character now as a result of all that. But yeah, it's like the, the main bulk of Mega Dimension just feels... lessened. Yeah, lessened would be the best way, best way of putting it. So yeah. That'll be the next nip game, and next we've got coming up after this, not not straight after, as in tomorrow. Going back to the SAO game that we're doing, the Fatal Bullet one, we've got the DLC to do there. After that we're going to Atelier... Is it Dusk series? I think it's the Dusk series, I don't know, it's too warm to figure these things out. It's way too warm. Um, I think that's it, yeah. I think that's it, I think, I think we're done with this video. So we'll see you in whatever you want to watch next. Thank you very, very much for watching. And goodbye for now.